I'm not a lawyer, but Trontavia Stevens, AKA Slug, AKA Tick, is back on the stand for day 15 of the YSL RICO trial, and things are going noticeably different than they were last week. Attorney Love gets right into it with her questioning of Slug this morning. She first asks him about rebranding Rock Crew to Young Slime Life. And did you testify last week when you spoke, we needed to get away from the gang activity that Rock Crew was known for. And so we changed our name to Young Slime Life. Yes. Who is the we that you were speaking about when you spoke to the jury? People who I grew up with, um, my age group, my brothers, all the names I gave. Are those people founders of Young Slime Life? No. Okay. So why then would the founders of Young Slime Life need to rebrand from Rock Group? So that, using the we word wasn't even like intentionally. That's just the direction I was saying. And then Attorney Love asks Slug, who in the courtroom are members of the YSL gang? And child. Let me ask you this. Which of these defendants in this courtroom right now are members of YSL Young Slime Life, the gang? All of them. And by all of them, would you please call them by name? By name? Quay, Rod, Other Quay, Thug, SB, and yeah. You said Thug, so you do call Jeffrey Williams Thug? Yeah. Okay. And Yak, is that Diamante Kendrick? Yes. SB, is that Shannon Stilwell? Yes. The two Quays, is that Mark Quavius? Huey yes. and Marvius Nichols? Yes. Lil Rod, is that Rodellius Rod? Yes. Before I play this next string of clips, here is Attorney Love asking Slug about being a rat. Does telling on your friends to a jury make you a rat? I don't know. You don't know? No. Why don't you know? Um, I don't feel like telling the truth should make you a good or bad person. And then more questions and more answers. Is everything YSL raps about make the lead? I can't answer that, I don't know. They can rap about the amount of money that they have and I don't know the amount of money that they have. Is a trap a place where people sell drugs? Yes. Does YSL have a spot that they call the web? Yes. Do YSL members call Jeffrey Williams spider? Yes. Did you see or were the letters and numbers SP5DER on his jacket? Yes. Do you know what that is meant to say? Spider. Do you know the significance of the number five? Um, it's for uh, an artist who passed away, Juice World. Ooh. Juice World. Does it number five have significance in the blood game? Yes. What does that significance? I don't know, but I just know it's a number. Other members of Young Slime Life that you associate with? Bibi. Um, I don't know what they go by. I don't know where he go by either. I don't, I don't know. I just don't know if he say that he young slime like. Not to the exact. Um, D. Booty. Yeah, yeah. He got a nickname. Obama. Now, because you're probably wondering if somebody talked to Slug this weekend and told him to get a haircut, wear a button up shirt, and to answer the questions on the stand, Attorney Love asks him who he spoke to this weekend. That's very nice. Did anyone in particular tell you to wear the outfit today? No. Have you spoken with us this weekend? No. And then she gets into the heart of this entire RICO, which if you remember, the point of a RICO is that there are criminal activities that are being done 
to further an enterprise, or in this case, the gang. So attorney Love asked Slug about the crimes members of YSL committed to further YSL the gang. What things, what crimes have you committed to increase the notoriety, street credibility, and reputation of YSL? So I sold drugs and carried around um, illegal firearms. How did those things increase the notoriety, street credibility, and reputation of Young Slime Life? I don't know if it actually increased, but my approach was to um, make it known that YSL was selling drugs and willing to protect the selling their drugs with the firearm. I often walk back and forth. Some said I had down there, some said I had up the street. I never said I was successful. Who are the other two people, since you said in this acknowledgement that three or more members or associates of Young Slime Life have committed crimes? I really thought that I, can, I would use myself, um, that I counted as the three. Um, Mr. Stevens. Do you contend at this point that somehow you thought you constituted three or more members of Young Slime Life? Yes, I, I, I really thought that I could be, yeah. So are you unwilling to speak on crimes committed by other members of Young Slime Life intended to increase the notoriety, street credibility, and reputation of Young Slime Life? No, I'm not unwilling. I just gave you, I gave you three names. I told you, you asked me to give you three names. From there, Attorney Love plays some clips and some pictures of signs and colors and some other stuff and asks Slug the meaning behind some of those things. What is one of the colors, the primary color for sex line? <clears throat> red. What does your B stand for in the middle of that red star? Can I explain? Boss, um, it got dice in the middle of it. We gamble. And would you tell the jury what those hand gestures are associated with? Um, so I did, uh, the same, I, I made a hand gesture, like the tattoo that's on my neck, bank first and last. So I was doing the exact same thing that it said on my neck, but with my hands. So I'll be back later with part two from day 15 and we'll see how the rest of the day goes.